The world is not safe anymore, kid. Let's see. Let's see. Are you eyeballing the baby gate over there? Because it's open. You gonna go on an adventure? What do you Baker think you're doing? Oh, down to the army crawl again. Happy day, friends. I was just looking here in the screen just a minute ago to make sure lighting was everything behind the scenes camera of black stuff. But anyways, this thing you guys, like what the heck? Come on, face. Your hormones are starting to get back to normal. What are you doing? It's just gonna be here for a couple days. It's our new little friend. Let's name it, shall we? Put your names in the comments. I'm just kidding. I mean, unless you want to, I'm not a, I'm not opposed. But if you guys saw, Paige is like moving. She is army crawling like crazy and she is also starting to go like right on her knees, like crawling legit. And our house is still somewhat baby proof because Micah is still a two year old running around. We've got like um, covers on all of the outlets, I think at least most of them, I can't see any right now that aren't covered. But since Paige is moving around so much, and listen to this guys. The other day I was putting my makeup on, I set up a little PlayStation for Paige in the bedroom. She crawled over, wiggled her way through the pillow and the laundry basket to go play with the electrical cord that's connected to our air purifier. And I'm looking over at her thinking like, oh my gosh. And she puts it in her mouth and tries to bite it. And I'm like, you girl, you're gonna hurt yourself. So I plop her back up, I make another barrier and she plays for a little bit. But that girl is so curious, like so much more adventurous and just wanting to get into things than Michael was. So we decided today we are going to get on, get down on all fours, hands and knees, crawl around the house, trying to find things that might interest her or might be a danger and harmful to her. Not that she's really ever left unattended anyways. We're, I mean, our house isn't big, number one, so we're always kind of around. But when we have to run off and take care of Micah or help her in the potty or do something and Paige is laying somewhere on the floor, we want to make sure that things are safe. <laughs> All of our cabinets are already childproof, thank goodness, because I feel like that's the one that really takes the most time. Do we strap a GoPro to your head <laughs> so that everyone else can point out things that they might see? Like, oh, you forgot about this or you forgot about this. <laughs> I would totally say yes if our <laughs> GoPro batteries were charged. Are they not? You go charge them real quick. Well then how long does it take? Probably like four hours, five hours. To charge a battery? Our oh my Go gosh. Our GoPro is really old, so I, I know don't it's know. old. I'm, okay, we don't have to do the GoPro thing. We'll just we'll just bring this camera around and point out anything that you see that would be in nature. Are you getting down on your knees or me? No, you are. <laughs> Oh wait, you hurt your wrist, so you can't crawl. You big baby, okay. I was gonna flip it over and you can like walk around <laughs> and see, you know what I mean? So that like, oh, so you don't have to crouch. Do it in yeah. post. So like, we're gonna flip you guys like this. You can literally see what she sees. <laughs> oh no, what does she see when she looks up at me? Hey girl, hey. <laughs> Hi, Paige. Uh, Paige boo. Uh, Paige boo. <laughs> All right, uh, we, got, we got Paige vision. She always tries to grab things off of here, and so these corners concern me a little bit, so we may want to consider bumpers for this edge, because she, like, tries to climb up here way more than Micah did. Well, yeah, but she's so cautious. She, I know, but it only takes one fall. You know what I mean? But we never covered those for Micah. No, we didn't, but she didn't try to climb up on it. But I also think we taught Micah, like, no. You know, we told her, like, because she, she did at some point, and we just were consistent in telling her no, and she stopped. So maybe we're just at that part with Paige where we yeah. need to, like, teach her things. But I don't know. These, these worry me a little bit. <laughs> Gosh, Micah pulled off a lot of our things. There is one left of all of the ones that we put on here. Come along, come along. Don't get my booty shot. So come like That's next what's to me. gonna sell it. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Coming over here. This is gross. We need to clean our floors. Gross. Oh my Does this gosh. make you realize this? <laughs> this is gonna make us realize living conditions as well. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> okay, over here, plugs are covered. Nothing under here she can get aside from dirty crumbs. 
My knees aren't young anymore, baby. You should be doing this. Someone in the comments. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Who's older? Yeah, but my knees are bad. <laughs> my yeah. mom had two knee replacements. I don't have very good genetics. Okay, oh, there's a hair tie. I don't know if that's a choking hazard or not, but. Is this something we need to do every day? Seriously, I don't know. With the <laughs> right pain she's going at, she is just like getting into things. Okay, I need to need a little break. <laughs> what were you saying about somebody someone, in the comments? Someone in the comments said that uh, babies don't have kneecaps. That's why it doesn't hurt them right. to crawl. They don't yet. They're not like fully developed until they're two. That's nuts. We definitely have to start using the gate. <laughs> yep, baby gate already installed. This, oh, these ones are still on. That's good. These corners are really the main ones that concern me. Nothing she can get into there. Those ones are closed. Solid work team. And get rid of my claw. <laughs> so this is the core that she was chewing on. And here's the thing, like she only has her bottom teeth. Her her top teeth are coming in. It's not like she's gonna gnaw on gnaw through it, but still it's a concern because who the heck knows, right? Here's something for you guys. I don't know if you have like the the wiggly these things. So I took this off the other day because she's super interested in playing in these, which is fine. But sometimes these little knobs come off and that really scares me because she puts things in her mouth and I don't want her to choke on them. So I just took the whole thing completely off because I don't want to risk that. We've gone through the whole house. <laughs> That's literally <laughs> it. Aside from their bedrooms, I've already taken the door stoppers off. Yeah. That's, that it's easy it. when your house is pretty much kid proof. It's small. Yeah, when it's already kid proof. Okay. Wow, that, that didn't take long at all. Austin and I went to like an infant slash parenting, like prepping for your child before we even had Micah. And that was like one of the big tips that we learned from, from the whole class was like to child proof your home, crawl around on your knees and you'll see things that you would not even consider otherwise. So it was nice to just kind of do that again and, and think of any, anything that we needed to kid proof still. But please let us know in the comments if you saw something that we weren't really considering. I mean, living here, everything is so normal to us, you know what I mean? Like, maybe there's something that we're, we're totally not considering. Okay, Paigey. Paigey P, Paigey Pie, we're making this house safe for you. We're making it safe so you can move all around within reason. You just want to stand? I tried putting you down to sit and you would not <laughs> bend your legs. You gonna walk? You gonna walk soon? Hi, Paigey P. Your sister is still sleeping. She must be tired. Uh, can you open that for me? Open them up. You open those up. I'm gonna get some of these. Dad's getting you. He's getting you. He's so fun. Let's see the teethies. Wait, you want to see her giant teeth coming in? We think she totally is going to have... Wait, let's see your big teeth. Austin's got beautiful big teeth, and we think... We think... I mean, wait. these are baby teeth, so permanence can be way different. <laughs> wait, hold on. Let her, whoa, let whoa. her you need breathe, to breathe. <laughs> Let's see those teeth. You need to breathe? <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Do you want to show me your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, like, make her cry. <laughs> Hey, one sec. Wait, is it poking oh. through? I think it's finally poking through. It's like really poking through. I'm oh, I, want, I don't want to hurt you, bub. You're just so active. You're just so active. You're just so active. See those big chompers? Yes, they're wow. coming. They're coming. You got big ones coming. Huh? Can't let you chew on any cords now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. This is my like one of my favorite ages. Yeah, this is like one of the best ages in my. I mean, we only know up to two and a half years, right? But, but it's all down around <laughs> around nine months though. Like they're really starting to do things, and their personalities are really starting to come through. And it's just a fun age. You can play with them before, but like you can really start playing with them now. Show them your hat. Can you show them your hat? Put it on your head. Put it on your head. Put it on your head. Good job. <laughs> it's on your head. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Get him. Get him. 
<laughs> she saw Micah pushing these buttons the other day. Now she's all about it. My favorite is when she goes over to your chair or something that has like a stick or a post. <laughs> she like and she climbs up on it like this, but it goes between her legs and it looks like she's dancing on it. But like she gets to dancing. a point where both of her feet are behind her and she's got the pole right All here and she can't do anything. She can't she's do stuck. anything. She's stuck. And so then she just looks at you and goes, ah! <laughs> yeah, right. Yes, you. she has been just so fun lately. And watching Micah play with her. Oh my gosh, they are the cutest. Micah is just so sweet to her. The other day she was crying, sitting here on the floor, just like whining, crying a little bit. And Micah gets off the couch. Micah was watching a show. So like for her to get up from doing that is a big deal. She got up from the couch, grabbed Paige's binky, went over, gave her the binky, said, it's okay, it's okay, and went back onto the couch. And I was just like, oh my gosh, new level. Like she's taking care of Paige when she's upset. I'm so sorry. Let me turn that off for you at least. I think she's been like doing so much work crawling and trying to stand and everything that she is just passing out in this thing every time we put her in it. <laughs> she works really hard. She does. She's exhausting herself. <laughs> She's so tired. My sweet little nugget. My nice sweet. Oh. She's sleeping on the shoulder. No, she's away. She's always sleeping. Oh, good night, sweetie. Drown, drown, That is right. How are you feeling? Music. Oh, you want music? Okay, we can do some music, if you're feeling okay. Okay. Are you feeling good? So good? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, so good? Oh no. Oh no, you dropped some on your clean pants. We gave both of the girls a bath. My back is killing me because Paige has outgrown her baby uh, bath chair thing. And so I was leaning over the whole time because she cannot be unattended whatsoever with the amount that she's crawling. So I was making sure it was really close and it killed my back. But the girls are bathed and clean and feeling good. And Mike has been, honestly, she's been kind of like off the past two weeks. We can't quite figure out what it is. I'm wondering, do you have some teeth coming in? Oh, I have to be quiet. Do you have teeth coming in? Are there some teeth coming in the back? Does it hurt back there? She's shaking her head yes. So I don't know. Okay, I gotta be quiet, because Paige is going to sleep, right? Okay, gotta be quiet. GoPro just barely finished charging. Yeah, so we're not gonna do that today. So not today, but <laughs> stay tuned, because I really want to figure out a way we can strap this to Paige. I don't know if she'll like it, because she doesn't even like having a bow on her head. <laughs> well, she try. likes beanies. That's true. So maybe we'll Attach put it a to beanie. A hat. And then put this on and maybe, I don't know. That might be fun. But we are going to have a family movie night, watch a movie tonight, and what else? Oh, we still have to be quiet. I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting. But I don't think she can hear us all the way in here. Why do we have to be quiet? Because Paige is sleeping. Oh, okay. Well, then let's be really quiet and we'll say goodbye. We are going to go. And we, we will see you guys next time. Bye, friends. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't do that.